What's up, everybody? Um, I'm going to show you guys what we use to use our keyboard and mouse on our consoles. And it's called the Zim 4. This is the unit right here. Um, it's got three different in actually four different inputs. This one here goes to the console. This one here goes to the controller. It's an Xbox controller. Then these go to your keyboard or mouse. We use a Logitech G502. I think it's real important to get a high DPI mouse with onboard memory. And rather than a traditional keyboard, we use a Razer Orb Weaver. The green screen's kind of chroma keying out some of the color there. But that's what we use for our, our keyboard and mouse setup. The program itself is really, really simple. You can install it on a um, smartphone, tablet, or even use a PC software. We use a tablet. Uh, this is the NVIDIA Shield tablet. You just download the program. Um, then you can click up here. Maybe not. What happened? Here we go. It had its little screensaver on or something. So you click here, go to um, new, and you search for the game that you're looking for, and chances are it's going to be there. This does have periodic updates from time to time. So find your game. We use Destiny. Uh, then you just click this little one in the corner, and you can edit it. So here you see hip fire. This is when you fire from the hip. Um, you want to make sure the in-game sensitivity is set to max, which is 10. And uh, you want to make sure your DPI on your mouse is set to max, which we, I believe, have a 12,000 DPI mouse, the Logitech G502. Then you can mess around with the sensitivity on the Zim to adjust what you, what you prefer. Uh, we're using 21.50. It can go very high. It can go very low. And that's pretty much it for sensitivity. You're going to definitely want to just play around and find what you like. And then the next one that's important is under buttons. As you can see, it's really simple. If I want to change um, my left trigger or right trigger, you just click on it. And then this is right trigger. That would be left click, left mouse button. Now... Melee, you just click this button, and boom. Click the button on your keyboard, sets it to melee. It's really, really simple. Uh, you can set all your different keys. And what's nice about this program is that when you download the Destiny one or choose it, it already has all the, uh, the things set up. Now, there was one weird thing with Destiny, is the super. Uh, it's, it's what, um, grenade and melee at the same time, I believe which is F and, where's grenade? Mouse button forward. Oh, okay. So what we did is we have two different setups here. We've got, where is it? Where is it at? Primary and secondary. You can have two different hotkey setups. At the bottom, you can see you can switch back and forth. So to set up your super with Destiny, it was a little bit weird. I had to figure out how to do this. So melee for us is F, grenade is G, but on this screen it's um, melee is F, and then super button is the grenade throw. It's one of our mouse buttons. And then what you'll see is when you go down to secondary, we actually have our melee now as the super button and the throw grenade as the G button, or it's actually the C button. So what you want to make sure you do is you set a key on your mouse or your keyboard, whatever you want for your super, to alternate between melee and throw grenade. So on this screen, melee is mouse button forward. On this screen, throw grenade is C. And again, back here, you just alternate them back and forth from melee to grenade. Pretty simple once you figure it out. But um, there's another cool feature on this, which is your aim down sights. Now you can set your activation key. It's when you hold the... Um, right mouse button for us and then you can also select this inherit buttons from primary or you can have a whole different key map from when you're holding down that button and you can set your sensitivities as you can see here you can set it independently it's at 21.5 which uh, just keeps the sensitivities the same you could have it higher you could have it lower it's all up to you you can add more different things you can have a run activation uh, we used to we used to use this, but we no longer do. Um, we had a key so that when we were running, 
it would actually increase our mouse sensitivity because in Destiny, when you run, the sensitivity goes crazy, um, like crazy low, and it kind of sucks. But it had some adverse effects when you were holding the run button, um, trying to slide or jump or... It, it just was weird, so we ended up deactivating it. We just set it to a key that we don't use. And um, I think that's all we really use. It's really, really basic. This program is really great. You can have multiple different configs saved. And then you just hit the little button in the top left, saves it, updates it, and it's all done Bluetooth, I believe. You can have different profiles. So we've got one for Xbox, one for PlayStation, and they are basically set the same, but pretty sweet. So yeah, if you guys are wondering, this is what we use. It's called a Zim 4, and we'll have a link to the Zim 4, as well as uh, the peripherals we use, which is the Razer Orb Weaver, and the Logitech G502. So I hope you enjoyed this. It's been a uh, long past due, this video showing how it works. But um, enjoy, guys.